and this lesson we're going to add the carousel pro with some advanced features so you still have to autoplay the show controllers and you have to show navigation navigational bars uh, the arrows so you, let's go over to one of them here so you still have the text here you have the, the title item that you can put and then you have this one here you can add uh, the background image and the carousel image so let's see how that looks let's choose an image let's choose this one and let's choose for the carousel image so I have another image that I just chose so I have two images now and you can also add a YouTube video on here so I have a YouTube video and I can put in the button uh, text right there and I can also even upload an attachment if I want people to download something from here and then you can choose the button style so this one here this advanced feature it gives you a whole lot more than just a generic uh, for the carousel so you go through this and check the settings the ones that you want to activate I'm just choosing different ones at random uh, just to show you how it looks so choose uh, info and you can choose here choose outline and then the button shape look at the square choose an icon and then position so let's click apply and save and let's take a look to see what it looks like on the front end so let's preview that first and then we're going to edit it so this is what you have so you have this image on the background you have this video on the right on the left side on the right side of the page and then you have this text um, that's right there so let's let's edit this okay let's go back here so if you don't want this uh, if you don't want this background here you can just delete it let's delete the backgrounds and once again you have a lot of control in terms of how you want things to show and then click on apply so now you have just you know just the title the button the anchor there and then you have the video so people can click slide and it's going to slide to the other one so it's not sliding to anything now because you don't have anything so let's go back here and we're going to add something let's click on start now and let's copy this so instead of having just two one we have two And then with the buttons, you can kind of play around with the settings here to um, give it a different look. Warning. And for the style, we don't have to worry about that for now. Scroll down. And then change the button icon to a bell. And what I'm doing is I'm just going through each one, uh, just changing things at random. But if you wanted to, you know, if, of course you have to change it based on the your site and how you have it. I'll click on apply. So now we have this uh, button here. We can click on and it slides over to the next one. So this is another great way for you to um, present content. And you can even put in a background, a dark background for this one here. So what I'm going to do is I want to show you how to do that. So let's say I want this background. I just didn't want that to show up on a white background. Uh, I can do something about it here. Go over to style, the background color. I'm going to choose something like this. And then make sure that the text is set to white. No overlay. Click on apply. So now you have, you just created this slide. And let's do one more thing here. You can leave it like this, or let's just add a title. So you go over to to the rows uh, options here. Getting started the right way. Okay, so let's click on. You can choose uh, the position, and I'm just going to copy this for the subtitle. Make this H1. Just where it says title H, um, HTML element. And then if I wanted to have this a different color, I can. 
but I'm just going to leave it at the white. So I'm going to put in a subtext there. Equal column height. I want to be fluid row, remove gutter. And then you click on apply. So now you notice that since I set this to be um, fluid, that it expanded it a whole lot more uh, than before. So if I don't want this to be fluid, let me come back and I edit that. I can let this know that I don't want this to uh, be a fluid system. So if you want to change the fluidity of this, you have to go back to the row option. And this is where you can change fluid. No. Remove gutter. No. And then apply. And again.